Um, so we're here inside the blind beggar. Tell us what happened here. Well, this is where, in March 1966, <coughs> George Cornell <coughs> was shot dead by Ronnie Cray. George had been with Albie Woods to visit little Jimmy Andrews in an hospital in North London. Jim had been shot in the leg. Jimmy Andrews' daughter, by the way, married Tony Adams, Arsenal's captain. They're divorced now. And as soon as they come here, because George was born round here and brought up all round here, they'd have gone over any other bridge, Blackfriars, London Bridge, you wouldn't hear this story. But George decided to go over Tower Bridge, work their way through North London, East London. All of a sudden, George said, oh, look, Elby, there's the blind beggar. I ain't been in there for years. Let's go in there for a drink. Elby said, yeah, certainly. Traffic wardens wasn't so freak when there's are now. In they come. Someone phoned up Ronnie. We'd already been nicked to the Mr. Smith Club, so we were all out of the way. And Ronnie come in here. And as he come in, George said, look who's here. Pulled out the gun and shot him dead. And LB took the glasses away and they went away. That was the end of it. It's made the pub famous. I remember one publican said to me not so long ago, said, Frank, if Ronnie had only shot two dead, I'd have got even more money. But even now, it's like a palace to what it was. It's unbelievable. Lovely carpet on the floor. It's really great. But then it was just like sawdust on the floor, just an ordinary pub. Still a good one, but not like it is now, like a palace. Well, why do you think that they decided to shoot him? What's the reason for that? They were wary of George. They wasn't frightened of him. They were wary. He could really have a row, George, really. And for some reason that we'll never really know. And just that one office come here, by a miracle, really, someone's phone Ronnie and it has come. We never really know to this day. Because they were grew up together, they were friendly in a way. Do you think that the grey legend will grow or will it diminish now that they've cast over? Well, with my knowledge of life now, it'll grow. It's, it's strange. There may be a, one or two years or more where it might go down and it go right up again. And the publicans here won't care as long as it keeps going up. And is, is there a particular pub that we could go to where it's really associated with yourself, which may become as famous as this pub. No, there isn't really, because I was hardly out of prison, was I? Well, we're standing outside of the Grave Morris. What, what is the purpose of this place? This pub, the Grave Morris, this is where I would meet Ronnie and Reggie. This is where we would have our meetings here. They'd phone me up, say, Frank, can we meet your usual place tomorrow? whatever time. And this is where I'd go. I always come all on my own. Except once, I come with a net. Otherwise, all on my own. And they respected that tremendously. That meant I had complete faith in them, and they would discuss business with me or whatever. Was there many occasions that you went to meet them here? A few occasions, so I'd phone them up and say, I want to see you.